Hey, Phil from Got Memories here. Gonna show you some more moldy tape stuff. Fun and games. Always a joy. And I'm very sarcastic. Okay, so this beauty. Look at this. So this is what, that's one I just cleaned. Okay, so here's one I just cleaned that kind of looked like this. Look at that. I don't know if that's gonna focus. Where is it? There we go, the lighting. Okay. Well, you get the picture. It is gross. So, don't ever do this, but I'm gonna put it in the player here. Just put it in the bottom there. Oh, and it told me to piss off. Here we go. Don't blame it. Oh no, don't do that. All right, play. Let's see if it plays. You can hear audio. That looks like a legacy box transfer. <laughs> With a good tape. All right, so you can hear it. It is a birthday. Oh, look, it's coming back, but it's still crappy and it's not gonna get any better. So I'm gonna clean this. And, but hey, it does have footage, unlike the other video I just did, where it had nothing, which it's like, what the hell? So, and my screwdriver here is out of battery. Or maybe not. There we go. So, this mold comes from being stored in damp conditions, humid garages, attics, or if it's been exposed to moisture floods, hurricanes, you name it. And then it's been put away wet for decades. And then, boom, you have this situation right here. So, I'm gonna open this up. And then see what lies beneath. Okay, as you can see right here, look at that. Let me just focus that on down. I mean, that is a disgusting and daunting and scary looking thing there. So I have these sheets, premium disposable towels. It's what I use to um, clean. It's pretty lint free. Doesn't get all the crap everywhere. Excuse the mess that you're seeing around right now. This is a Friday night. I have been at it all week, all night, all day. Especially dealing with all these problem tapes that I question why I'm doing these YouTube videos sometimes because it's all I'm getting in. And it's just, yeah. Okay, spray some uh, isopropyl on there. This is an ad hoc way of doing this, just getting this top layer off here. Look at that. If I go, what? where are we? There we go. So it just kind of gets a quick way. Oh shit, wrong way. It's just torn through there. Gotta be careful here. So I'm gonna do it blade side away, which I thought I was doing, but I'm not. So watch your fingers as well. Oh, that's, dude, I just cut myself. Flipping out. I thought my finger was stinging when I put the, with the alcohol on it. Be very careful. Hazards of the job. Oh, and I've done it again. Dude. That's come loose. Shit. Um, hey, oh well. There you go, it's a little bit of antiseptic. <laughs> Handy to have. Um, all right, let's start that over again, because I, what else can I use here where I'm not gonna slice my finger open? Um, this other piece of metal here that can slice, it's not as sharp. All right. Where's my scissors? What did I just lose? All right, so 
Spray that. Ouch, that is stinging. All right. Yeah, see, that's not doing the job as good. You can give it a little scrub like this. This is like the initial clean. Oh, look at that center line bit there. Look at that. Gross. And then I'm gonna go underneath. Look at that, I'm spilling blood for customers' memories. All right, and where are we? Ouch. <laughs> Every time I'm spraying that now. Okay, oh, look at it underneath here, look. Just, yep, so you've got to get the bottom as well, or at least have a peek and see if it's like that on the top, it's more than likely on the bottom as well. Oh boy, oh boy, oh, that is stinging. Woo! Yep. All right, I'm gonna just take it off here now and get it on this thing here. And um, not screw it up. One screw over here I need to do because this Allen thing right here keeps coming off. I'm gonna tighten that. There we go. Alright, now what? Oh, don't do this. Take the tension. There we go. I'm just gonna spin it. Alright. So while that's uh, going, hopefully it doesn't stick. Sticky shed syndrome, which is always a nightmare. And you can probably hear in the background, I have uh, some 16 mil film running on the Elmo Trans video. It is uh, 16 millimeter. 16 millimeter um, optical sound. And uh, yeah, so we got all that going. Everything's looking good. This is a very, an amazing piece of kit here that Elma made in the early 80s. Um, very very rare um it just does a very good job especially with audio um and uh you know keeps it no messing around with software other than capturing it yes it is through elgato you know the people can go along in the comments and i'll block him on that because there are many other ways to do this of course but it depends on the economics and what the customer is willing to pay um, you know, that's what this is all about is finding that happy medium between, you know, really good quality and an affordable price because we're all fighting out there against all these piece of crap companies and, you know, you've got to find a happy medium. Yes, I can go to the ends of the earth for stuff, but people aren't willing to pay it, especially when they've got a ton of stuff, you know, thousands and thousands of dollars and you want great quality and you know, and in 4K and AI technology and, you know, that that's Uncle Sam stuff, you know, like all uh, corporations or you're reselling the footage. But, you know, if you just digitize in home movies, you know, all the Tobin stuff that I use that I've got all over there, I've got other videos on that. 
they're really, really good. Do a fantastic job. Um, and Tobin is no longer in business, as in he didn't um, go out of business. He kind of was driven out of business because I was driving him so much business throughout the years from 2009 onwards. And he was near retiring age then. And he just couldn't keep up with the orders and then also repairs on these damn mechanisms here, all the bits and pieces inside. I can fix a lot of stuff on these Tobin machines myself, but um, Urbanski Film is who I recommend for fixing them. Um, but yeah, so here we are. We're still cleaning this. You can skip around or if you just like to uh, watch me at work. I know I watch some things on YouTube and I'm like, what the hell am I watching? How did I end up here? What the hell? That's probably a few of you right now. I didn't even know this was a thing. This is a thing. Digitizing everyone's home movies. But doing it. Amazing. Dealing with all this problem stuff that all these companies turn away. And while that's finishing up, I'll show you an example of what is happening in this industry. It's been happening for a long time. This crap. People getting back all their stuff six months after sending it away, six months after paying for it. And they get it back and they've got these stickers on them saying, due to your analog media arrived with one of the following mold, broken tape, housing, environmental damage, water, heat, etc. So unfortunately, we're unable to convert it. So none of these tapes are transferred. And I've put like eight in so far and they're all fine. You know, and, and the guy who sent this in can't get it, couldn't get a refund. He tried to do a charge back through his credit card company. And because it had been over 90 days since he paid, because it takes him six months to get the crap back, um, then he's SOL. So it's a nice little scam they got going on there in my eyes. Can't confirm or deny, but hey, it's uh, pretty bad when you put a tape in, it plays perfectly fine. So with all these bits of mold coming off now. This is the center line area that I couldn't, couldn't quite get to. You can see it right here. I'm gonna give this another Another go. Whoopsie. I am spot checking over there as well, but the, because it's a print and I've already inspected it, cleaned it, I know it's good to go. And there isn't going to be the usual variations in contrast, exposure, all that stuff that I've got to adjust on the fly when I'm doing home movies because, you know, amateurs, home movies, indoors, outdoor scenes. It's, uh, yeah, it does need a lot more uh, eyeballs on it. All right, let me cut my finger again. This does, um, now I can get to the innards that I couldn't get to. This is going to have... Mm. This is tough. This is really, really bad. This has potential to, I don't know what I'm going to, I mean, it doesn't have sticky shed syndrome, so I'm just going to go ahead and hand do this because I can get to the, the outside with my hand. Sometimes this, um, this plastic bit snaps off and I kind of like it when it does that because um, I can get, oh, look at that. Shit. This is just never ending. I mean, it almost is like you want to snap it. If it does snap, it comes off nice and evenly. And then I super glue it back on. But, um, if it's not wanting to come off, I'm not going to push it because it just, yeah. I don't want to snap it and now I've got to get another spindle. Oh, look at this. This is all. All right, that's not done. Yeah. 
So this is the beauty just using, you know, really reliable stuff. Software Elgato, you can trim it and then boom, a couple seconds. But I mean, I've got these computers. I mean, they're all MacBook Pros, but I've got like tons of RAM and da 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 da, and solid, all solid state drives as well. So, yeah, when you play it back, it just works. And it's all coming in through S Video as well. Um, but you can go that quickly now through the whole thing. In March, the bulkhead was cleaned, processed, and it, and it just works. So, there we have it. Um, what am I doing? Okay, so let's see. What did I just do here? Okay, so because this has got some bulges in it, I'm kind of holding these and turning them. So the, it's getting a cleaner edge and they kind of rumble around a bit in there. I've got some Teflon tape that they put in there to kind of stabilize it. But so when I put this back together, hopefully it's going to be a clean picture. Um, I'm going to clean the video head as well just to make sure. I'm not gonna put it back in that original camcorder, the, the VCR that I just put it in. That's just kind of a throwaway job. But usually these Panasonic, the older, you know, more plasticky ones. I mean, they're full head, but they just seem to perform better with problem tapes and these, all the higher end ones that seem a bit like too posh, too prima donna for tapes that, um, have issues, they want them perfect. Okay, so let's do this, let's give this a whirl. And what's that doing in there? Okay. What's that? Kind of take the tension on the right side here just to kind of get past that. You can see where the tape has been sat for many decades in that exact spot there with it bent. Um, I'm just going to wind past that actually so it gets past the kink. All right. Okay, so let's do this. Let me clean this out. I want to get as less contamination as possible in there and gently bring this together. Bingo. And we got that. That. Kill. Balls, wrong one. I always get that wrong, wrong. All right. What's the other one? Yep. Manually doing it. Come on. What time is it? 8.43 p.m. on a Friday night. Been in here since nine this morning. It's about 12 hours. All right, moment of truth. Let's clean the head as well. Let's shut that down. I always keep the lids off. I don't even screw these things down because it's just constant. Constant, constant. Uh, let's angle that up more. I need some more. Where's my chamois tips? Shh. 
Shamoy. Right. One side, two side. All right, so let's do this. So immediately, look at that. Just to show you, because I didn't show you before, but watch that, clean. One, two, three, four, couple rotations, boom. This is why all these companies, especially Legacy Box and South Tree, Kodak Digitizing, all the same company, they all, and even iMemories, they're not as bad. It's the worst. That's the best of the worst. These uh, is because they're not getting pictures of things because the video heads are clogged. As I say in my videos, they can spend millions of dollars on, on AdWords and Facebook ads, Instagram ads. Got all the cash for that, but for doing this simple task right here, they, they struggle. You know, the production, the marketing is amazing. Really, really good. Presentation, marketing, world-class job. When it comes to this crap, absolutely atrocious. And they know it. They are well aware of their shortcomings and they are putting band-aids on everything as much as they can. They've got to keep that money coming in. They've got to keep those sales going, the never-ending sales that have been there since day one. Okay, here we go. Let's do this. I actually want to stop this because I want to call this V1. Is this V1? V5. Okay, V5. And with VHS, I always keep it. Oh, come on. Okay, this is common at the beginning. Okay, new kids party. As in new kids on the block. Okay, this is very common at the beginning of these tapes to have this kind of crappy static, even on regular tapes. Um, but as it, as it progresses, <laughs> I'll keep my mouth shut but it will start to clear up a bit, which it is. It's not gonna be perfect, but you saw the tape beforehand. And honestly, this looks better than clean tapes that have been digitized. Well, if you compare what I've got over there with those crappy legacy box tapes that haven't even been attempted and they're perfectly fine, to have a videotape that, that's bad, that is that bad, to even be watchable again. Yeah, no one touches this stuff. And the thing is, even now that uh, the job is over, it's not over. You've got to keep, you've got to maintain this. And the picture will disappear, and then I've got to stop it. I've got to clean the heads and then splice all the, edit all the pieces together. But, you know, it's all there. Better than the trash can, you know? There we go. Anyway, that's me for now. I am done for the day. So, just, um, where are we? Yeah, this is my little thing I wear around my neck. It's really handy for hands-free work. Yeah, you can have a GoPro. I just record my phone and, um, and uh, it works. So anyway, this is me. Um, if you'd like to get a quote, if you've got all these problem tapes and, you know, gotmemories.com or if you've got your own home movies and you want to get them done by me, uh, you can go to gotmemories.com, fill out the quote form just to let you know I am not cheap. If you're looking for comparing all these prices, they're all trash. They're terrible. You need somebody, a pro on the other end that's watching and maintaining because this stuff has all got systemic problems, even if it looks fine. It still has problems. And you can see all my videos, all the problems constantly. Hear it in my voice, see it in my face. I'm on the front lines. And the reason I got this channel is to raise the standards, raise consumer awareness, raise standards within this industry because it's just getting, it's on a massive decline. Because this media is all getting old, the players are old, short supply, parts, repair people, everything. And that's why these companies suck, is because they're just out of, they, they've got all the resources for money, but they don't seem to have the resources to keep all this stuff going, especially with the volumes that they have. I don't need, I wouldn't want their volumes in a million years. I've had that in the past, 10 years ago. I had a big, it was big. Not that big, but big. And it was just, oh my God, constant. So now I'm just by myself and Samantha and we do top quality work, prices are high because I gotta control the volume. 
but also I am putting in the time and the effort in all of this stuff and I'm doing outstanding work as my reviews on Google will show and also if you are shopping around, you have to go to Google reviews. Do not trust reviews on websites where they've got these third party kind of things. Scratch that, go straight to Google, look up the address, everything. They should have their own Google reviews there. Um, and that's the benchmark. So anyway, all the best to you, good night. Cheers, bye.